Thursday evening on the downtown mall. A few diners are here. A few people going home from work. This is the plaza outside of Bank of America and Vivian's and Virginia National Bank. And there's a few people here at this little plaza as if they're waiting for something. And there is a young lady who is cleaning off this plaza as if in preparation for something. And you're about to see what she's preparing for. And from the west end of the mall, comes probably the strangest setup for a play that you're ever going to see. Like a street fair, it's like, well, it's unlike anything you're ever going to see, I guarantee you.
Holmes Baron. I must see. This is an historic occasion. It must be properly celebrated. The waitress is bringing my special port. Splendid! Cigar? Thank you! My private brand. You know, all this gives me the feeling of one of those enchanted mornings in Arabian Nights, when thieves foregather in the marketplace. Thieves, pashas. Tell me about yourself, Baron. Well, where shall I begin? Waitress, get rid of that man. He is playing. I didn't ask for the program. I asked you to get rid of him. And so begins Act One of the Mad Woman Project. You will understand when I tell you mine has been a very different experience. I came up from the bottom. My mother spent nearly her entire life stooping over a wash tub to send me to school. I am eternally grateful to her, of course, but I must admit that I no longer recall her face. It was no doubt beautiful, but when I try to recall it, all I can seem to see is the part she invariably showed me. For real. Very touching. When I was kicked out of school for the fifth and final time, I decided to get out and see for myself what makes the world go round. Uh, I ran errands for a pinnacle, for a movie star, a financier. I began to see a little what life is. Then, one day, I saw a face in the street. I rise in life, gates from that day. Really? The moment I saw that face... What a day! What a day! What is it, Mr. President? Listen to this. Ten o'clock this morning, the market opens. A half million shares offered at par. Par set at 100 and quoted on the curb at 124. They start buying at 126, 127, 129, and it's going up, 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 132, 133, 138, 141, 141, 141. Oh, one may I ask? No, no. Any explanation would only confuse you. Heat up price on freeze goods from 26 to 95, 116, 124, 203, 306, 404. Here, take it, please, take it. Who is this man? What is that money? It's my life savings, every cent. I put it all in your hands. Can't you see that we're busy? But I beg you, it's my last chance. Please, don't turn me away. Oh, all right. Well? I was hoping perhaps you'd give me a little receipt. My good man, men like us do not give receipts for money. We take them. Oh, sorry. I was a little confused. Here it is. Thank you. 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 Every size, shape, color, the period of history, imaginable. It is under anarchy. I will tell you. Only safeguard, order, and discipline in the modern world is the standardized worker with interchangeable parts. Yes, yes, of course. Order, yes. symmetry, balance. And that, what? Here, Shiloh, the very citadel of that these insolent phantoms of the past, come to beard us with their graphics. Yes. 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 With the right of the voiceless to sing, of the tongue to make speeches, of trousers to have the seats, and bosoms to have dinner bells. After all, do these people really matter? I will tell you, sir, wherever the poor are happy, or the servants proud, or the mad respected, our power is at an end. Look at that, that, that fiddling youth, that mad woman. Do I get service like that? The quiet is of Mr. President is nearly noon. Ah, uh, yes. Nearly noon. She's looking at us. No, no, don't worry. And above all, don't stare with baby what? <laughs> Why, that's new! Something's wrong with God! What am I supposed to do? I've just been sworn in! It's my first day on the beat! I can't afford to get into trouble! I've got to go by the book! Perfectly simple! Take him back to the bridge where you found him and throw him in! That way you can save his life and get him 